Hello, welcome to Octagon Garage. My name is Robert and today we're going to talk about pre-engagement Lucas starters and what has changed over time. Um, I have a, probably seen one of my other videos, I have a 79 MGB, it's green, I call it Bernadette. Um, I put a pre-engagement gear reduction starter in it. I bought it from TS Imported Automotive out of uh, Pandora, Ohio. Uh, call Richard over there. I'll put the description or in the description text, I'll put the email or excuse me, email website. You can email him or call him <clears throat> and he sells the gear reduction starters. I don't know what the brand is, but I've been using mine for over 10 years and haven't had a problem. But I'm working on the MGB GT, getting all the engine parts back for it. I've got the cylinder head now, and I still need to dismantle the block. I don't know if I'm going to use that block or a different block and rebuild the lower end. I'll do a video on that. <clears throat> but anyway, I was wanting to get an electric starter for it. I was... Also over at British Parts Northwest, and I found this Q Parts. It's a brand new. There's the part. There's the part number and all. It's a brand new gear reduction starter. A little bit cheaper than the uh, other options that are out there on the market. Uh, you know, TS imported. Uh, they they sell an, uh, like I said the gear reduction starter, but uh, it looks like a lot of the other ones like you can buy from Moss and that kind of thing. Uh, he was over at the uh, British Car Swap Meet many years ago up in Chicago, and I picked one up from him. He gave me a special price because it was the you know uh, there for the show and that kind of thing. I want to say it was around $200. I got this one from British Parts Northwest for $112 plus shipping. So, open the box. This is in an unboxing video. I don't, you know, I don't do that. But anyhow. But the one in, you know, you take it out of the little bubble wrap thing, little bubble wrap bag. And they got this piece of paper shoved in here, which I thought was interesting. So I'll set that aside. I thought this was pretty cool. I've never seen this before with a starter. They include a dyno sheet. How many amps it pulls, how many watts, how much power. They got a little graph here that has a power torque curve and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it says DV Electronics LTD at the top. When I searched that, there's a firm out of Canada that makes the testing equipment for testing electric motors. And so every one of these gear reduction starters they build, uh, they include a dyno sheet. I thought that was pretty cool. So you know exactly what you're buying. The other thing I thought was interesting was it looks fairly stock. Has all the stock style connections. You don't have to modify your wiring or put a jumper in or anything. It's all there. It's all installed. You hook it up just like a standard Lucas. Extremely heavy a lot lighter The other thing that advantages you have is it uses less power turns the engine faster sort of helps promote quicker starts and it uses less electricity So I'm gonna pan over I got a scale set up over here I'm gonna pan over and we'll weigh the starters and you'll see so if you're wanting something for a race application and weight is an issue 
this is an interesting option. I did it not for racing. I just did it because this old starter started developing a dead spot in it. I needed a new starter and I wanted something that was going to be more efficient. Car sits for a while. What do you run into? The battery goes a little low, gets a little dead, but not completely dead. These things require a lot of power to turn. So when this won't start, this one probably will. So might mean starting or not starting, have to put jumper cables on, all that fun stuff. You know, some of these cars, we don't drive them every day. Uh, maybe not even every week. I know I haven't started burning that here probably in about a month and a half. The battery might be a little low. Anyway, we'll get back to this. So, we'll turn you towards the scale. There's the scale. Let's set up, uh, yeah, you can see that. All right, so stock starter, Lucas. Well, just uh, 15, almost, almost 16 pounds. The brand new gear reduction starter. Just a little over seven pounds. Seven pounds, five ounces. So, wow. More than half the weight. More efficient, turns faster, and uses less power. The other issue you run into is the starters draw, the, the original Lucas starters draw so much power. Uh, and you're dealing with a car that's 40, 50 years old. You may have a, original wiring. There's more resistance in the old wiring due to corrosion, that kind of thing. Um, so... Anything that can help, I think, is a good thing. So uh, it'll be interesting. I'll, I'm, I'm curious. I, I can't wait to try this out. Uh, we'll get the engine put together, and, and this is going to go on it, and to see how, how well it works. Um, I haven't had a problem with the other one. But then again, it's twice, twice the price. But anyway... Go over to TS Imported Automotive in Pandora, Ohio. Go to their website. I'll put it, like I said, I'll put it in the description text. And he's got all kinds of parts. And he does not only stuff for just stock rebuild. Uh, he remanufactures parts, brake calipers, all that kind of thing. And uh, master cylinders and that, that kind of stuff. But uh, he also specializes in racing parts. So, you know, give him a... Give him a call or go to his website and uh, check it check it out. So, anyway, y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye bye.